welcome back everybody to the association in today's video we're going to be doing the long-awaited uh, floor to ceiling window uh, tutorial so please pardon my voice but um, we're gonna get through this we're gonna get through this so this is going to be uh, unedited so not a lot of uh, edits uh, throughout the video so just trying to show uh, beginners how to uh, do floor to ceiling windows basically we're, we're the word around town is you know we're going too fast in, in tutorials so we're going to slow it down and uh let's get started okay so we want to go control m preferences kind of copycat what we have here as far as the height and the thickness we'll talk about that a little later on uh, in the video you can set this up a uh, half inch one inch and we're good so before you get started, you want to be on the second level or third level of your project. I need more wine. Uh, anyway, so we're going to start here on, a th we made a third level. We'll explain why, but uh, it's a good idea to start on a second level or a third level. Okay, so we're going to go up to walls. We're going to select walls. As you can see, we have our wall tool. We're ready to, to draw uh, our walls. So our wall is going to be our window frame, all right? It's gonna be our window frame. And so again, this is unedited, so it's gonna be it's gonna be slow, basically. So the word around town is, hey, going a little too fast, and some of the tutorials are a little advanced as well. So we'll, we'll keep that in mind going forward. So you can see we're going up. This is gonna be our height here. So for our case, we want our windows to be nine feet uh, high. Okay, so we'll get to the nine feet. You can set your window frames to you know the height that you want, or you can copycat. Okay, either way, we're gonna go over. You can set your width again to whatever you want it, or you can just you know look at what we're doing here. And, wow, my voice. <laughs> anyway, anyway. So, we're going to come down. Basically, we're just drawing a room. That is what we're doing. We're drawing a room. Double click. So now, if you you kind of miss the, the double click, you may have to restart again. Uh, or you can rejoin the walls. Control-Alt-J. You may have to do a tutorial for that. Or you can find a tutorial. Or just start again if, if you missed it, the double click. We're trying to cover everything that may happen, you know, with someone who's new. We're, we're trying. We're trying. Um, all right. Well, there's a window frame right there. Okay. Um, we're just taking a good look at it, making sure it's okay. Now, you can see our, our depth equals height. So, when we're in the preferences window, that's why we set it up. Our height or our thickness equals height. Okay. You may want to write that down. doesn't really matter. Just want to keep your numbers kind of low when you're when you're working on something like a window frame okay so boom there we go so our room is created because that's basically what this is it's a, it's a room it's a best kept secret right so next we're going to do speaking of rooms is we want to create our floor and ceiling do i have no i don't have any water okay bummer my voice is shot okay anyway we're gonna make our room there it is right there okay so basically you're drawing a room with the wall height low okay so now that that's done we're going to double click in the in the floor area we're going to uncheck the ceiling box ceiling box unchecked done okay um what is next again we're going very slow here very very you know raw video unedited we're going to scoot the floor uh, out of the space here and we're going to um, export this all we did is long press the mouse key don't let up and then just highlight the object that you want to highlight and then we'll go down to uh, export we're going to give it a file name something that you can remember Eh, that works that works that's fine 
Okay, so you can put in documents. You can create a folder as we've done. We have Sweet Home uh, Builds. Anything that we do, any altered models, any windows, any doors that we make goes in there. Anything that we've done goes in there. Okay, so we want to export selected. We do not want to export all. Okay, if you export um, all, everything in your project will go. Will go through. You don't want that. So, anyway, we're going to scoot this out of the way. Kind of you know, clean up our work area here. Here we go. Perfect. Alright, now we need to deal with the glass. Basically, the, the floor here is going to be, we're going to make that glass. To make that happen, very simple process. Going to go down to, um, I think that's modify. 3D view right there. Yep. Click that. And we have this little slider. I keep saying, I feel like I'm saying slayer. It's slider. But we're, anyway, I'm not slaying anything around here. Okay. Unless it's Christmas. All right. Okay. So um, we're going to just play around with this little slide bar until we're happy with the level of transparency. But we should do that in politics. Boy, would that be awesome. It'd be a whole new day. Anyway, this, this is not the channel for that. Okay, so not really happy um, with this, so we're going to go over it a little bit more. And see how... Okay, now we're getting there. Now we're getting there. That's not bad. I think we're going to... Um, let's do that one more time. I think. Possibly. And just a little nudge over. And see if we're happy with that. Because if it's not transparent enough, it's gonna have a lot, like a lot of material in it, and it's gonna look crappy. It it just is. Okay, I think we're happy with that. I think we're happy with that. So now we need to export this. Now it's it's basically glass. Again, long press left click, drag the mouse over, um, export, give it a file name, and just decide where you're going to put that um, model. Remember, export selected, not all. Okay, so there we go. That's done. And we're going to, again, clear our work area. So we'll scoot this over. Done. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to start bringing this in. So the way you bring this in is you need to go to the folder where you put said model. It could be a document. You could have created a folder. You know, whatever floats your boat. Again, for us, it's our sweet home. Oh, and we need to put this back too. Very, very important. Very important. Otherwise, everything's going to be transparent. And you're going to sit there and go, what's, what's wrong with this? You, you steered us wrong. Association, you steered us wrong. Okay, so anyway, we're going to go to our sweet home builds. That's where our model resides. We just need to go. You're going to go to the far right uh, search window there. And we're going to search for, again, said model. And there it is. All right, so there we go. And so to get that into the importer, you have your importer up already, uh, which will be Control Shift I, I believe. And then you drag that over. Okay. Again, if you have any issues or any problems, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. You know, don't do it after the fact. Put it if you're having trouble. Put it in the comment section. Hey. I couldn't pull up the importer. I, how do you drag this over? Put it in the comments. And then we can get back to you. We can help you out with that. You know, we don't want to leave anybody stranded. That's no fun. That's not the the, the, the goal of the video or the channel. Right? So, anyway. So, what we're going to do is a two-step process here with our glass. Because now we have everything imported in. Okay? So, first thing we want to do is make sure your glass needs to be either flush with the window frame or recessed in the window frame and for us we decided to recess in but it needs to be on both well it doesn't need to be on both sides but if you're doing an exterior exterior to your house then it needs to be otherwise it's going to look strange possibly okay so we're going to recess it it doesn't have to be perfect we want to recess about a quarter inch into the frame on both sides 
okay? And it, again, doesn't have to be perfect. But once we're happy with, you know, the, the level of where the glass is sitting, I can use some water. Anyway, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Too much wine. Okay, so, so now we need to set the glass, okay? Since we're happy with where it is, we're going to go to the top left uh, portion of the glass. Now, before you touch anything, you want to go to your bottom left in the, in the uh, menu there. Make sure your glass, your glass is highlighted. Then you can click on the tabs that you want, okay? You don't want to just click on the object because a lot of times it will switch to the window frame and it, it'll throw you off. So make sure your glass is highlighted, okay? And now we're just making sure that um, the left side of the frame and along the top is is seated okay, right? And it is, okay? Again, you can see we're highlighted, so we're not, we don't have to worry about that. We're gonna go over to the right-hand side, bottom right-hand side, okay? So let's scoot it on over. Again, unedited, we're just doing all this as we as we go. To show you there's no there's no tricks there's no tricks and we're just we're going very slow as you can see where the glass is in the frame which is fine as long as it's not clipping through the frame okay so it's in the frame that's fine we're gonna go to our right hand side and we're gonna pull this tab again make sure you're 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 on the right model on the right object and we're gonna just move that into the frame okay and then you can see now we can go down on the second level and make sure that we're happy with the level, okay? If for some reason the glass is too far, it's sticking out of the frame, like it's down too far, you can just change the thickness, or the, excuse me, the height, I think it's gonna be the height of the glass, okay? But we're good. For In our case, we are good, okay? So that is pretty much it for us. We're gonna go back up, check it, check the top, make sure we're okay there. Indeed, we are. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're done. We're going to export this out. Okay, so you're going to go to your 2D view, long press the, the mouse button, hold it, drag it over your model. Okay, you don't want to click on it. You want to long press export. Here we go, export all, give it a file name, and put that in you know a folder of your choosing. Okay, we're done. Now we just need to bring it in. I just built the uh, impromptu uh, room here. Here in Creation Station, which is, is just a save. It's nothing special. It's not a mod. Okay, and I just want to show you that this works. It works fine. See that? There you go. And there's our window. And it's perfect. And now, now you can set your elevation. Here we go. And Pardon me. It's probably the worst, worst voiceover I think we've ever done. Anyway, it's fine though. It's fine. Um, but there you go. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's your window. A little rendering there. Looks pretty neat. Um, we like it. You can see the reflection in the, in the glass. See, this this works out really nice. It really does. Um, there's more advanced um, stuff out there. But I think for this channel, we're going to keep it simple. I know I think we get a lot of beginners and so just for now on we're gonna keep things simple we're not gonna get too advanced so anyway there you go that is it with the video and again please excuse my voice if you like the video give us a like that help with the algorithm and give us a comment if you're new you like what we're doing here uh, feel free to subscribe ring the bell and uh, you're on board with us so that is it folks again thanks for watching signing off for now goodbye everybody